taking stock of the pileup. Habat Kagwa has been in the scrap business for two decades now. He says it is lucrative. Metal scrap is really ferrous. Scrap is a large thing. We deal in what we call the ferrous and non-ferrous scrap. People that do not understand scrap think it's a bad business. Metals, iron bars and even old car batteries make for much of the piles here. This is one of the many scrap metal collection centers in downtown Kampala. The dealer says he receives as much as 1,500 kilograms of scrap metal at this yard almost every day. But other collection centers receive a lot more. Whether it is a single metal plate or a sack load of steel. But the collection centers are now cautious about what they take in. The responsibility is on whoever is buying the scrap to scrutinize what they're buying, to know that they are buying something that is not illegal. Scrap metal theft has become an urgently pressing issue. Government agencies say it is their power, road and rail infrastructure that are vandalized the most. We have um, a section in the Busoga region, yeah? That is where most of the vandalism started or took place. We have an entire right of way that was taken and sold to, to, to metal dealers in that region. You also know that the Kasese line is no longer there. That was uprooted. The entire line straight from Kampala to Kasese was taken by people who thought that they could do whatever they want. Authorities say putting up laws will help regulate the sector. We wish our government to come and we make some acts in the scrap sector so that people are well guarded, people have boundaries where they cannot reach because we have a sector which has no act. The Energy and Mineral Development Ministry has previously called for a total ban on the metal scrap business across the country. That if it happens, is likely to leave Habat Kaguan many of these young men out of work, but probably with critical infrastructure in place.